Elections for 13 Rajya Sabha seats will be held on March 31st this year, the Election Commission announced today. The seats are spread across six states, five in Punjab, three in Kerala, two in Assam and one each in Himachal Pradesh, Tripura and Nagaland. The term of office of 13 Rajya Sabha members is due to expire in April. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad Sangma today informed the Assembly that 30 out of the 36 disputed villages along the Meghalaya-Assam border will remain in Meghalaya as recommended by the regional committees of the two states. Ownership of land, however, will not be affected after demarcation of the boundary, Sangma said. The 30 villages cover an area of 18 square kilometers. A Pakistani quadcopter was shot down by border security force troops along the international border in Punjab's Ferozpur sector today, an official said. According to a BSF spokesperson, five packets containing contraband items were seized from a green bag, which was found attached to the drone. The gross weight of the suspected contraband is over 4 kilograms, the BSF said. President of India Ramnath Kovin will confer the Nari Shakti Puraskars on 29 outstanding individuals for 2020 and 2021 on International Women's Day tomorrow. These achievers have not allowed age, geographical barriers or access to resources to come in the way of fulfilling their dreams, a statement by the Ministry of Women and Child Development said. India's envoy to Palestine, Mukul Arya, was found dead inside the embassy in Ramallah on Sunday, deeply shocked to learn about the passing away of India's representative at Ramallah, Sri Mukul Arya. He was bright and talented officer with so much before him. External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar tweeted, The cause of his death is not yet known. Union Minister Hardip Singh Puri, along with the last batch of 6,177 Indian students from Budapest, reached Delhi this morning. There is joy, enthusiasm and relief as youngsters reach home and will soon be with their parents and families, Puri wrote on Twitter. Over 16,000 Indian students have been evacuated from Ukraine over the past week. Netflix has announced that it is suspending its services in Russia after the country launched the invasion of Ukraine. Additionally, China's ByteDance-owned TikTok is also blocking live streaming and uploading of new content after Russia passed a law criminalizing spreading of fake news about its army. Netflix earlier said it was temporarily stopping all future projects and acquisitions in Russia.